లో ఏవో ఉన్నాయి ఒకసారి చూద్దాం మోస్ట్లీ వాళ్ళ కల్చర్ ని వాళ్ళ ఇంచేమో ఇక్కడ చూపిస్తున్నారు వాళ్ళ సంస్కృతిని వాళ్ళ తాలూక ఏవైతే హ్యాండ్మేడ్ వస్తువులు ఉంటాయో వాటన్నిటి గురించి కూడా ఇక్కడ వాళ్ళ డిస్ప్లేలో పెట్టారనమాట అది ఆఫ్రికాలో ఒక కంట్రీ అనమాట రువాండ్ అనేది ఇదిగోండి ఇది రువాండ రువాండ పెవిలియన్ కి ఉండే లైన్ ఇది వానకి వెళ్ళి చూద్దాం రువాండాలోకి వెళ్తున్నా రువాండాలో ఏవో ఉన్నాయి ఒకసారి చూద్దాం మోస్ట్లీ వాళ్ళ కల్చర్ ని వాళ్ళ ఇంచేమో ఇక్కడ చూపిస్తున్నారు ట్రెడిషనల్ ఫ్లూట్ అంట ఇది రువాండ గురించి వాళ్ళ నుంచేమో వాళ్ళ సంస్కృతిని వాళ్ళ తాలూక ఏవైతే హ్యాండ్మేడ్ వస్తువులు ఉంటాయో వాటన్నిటి గురించి కూడా ఇక్కడ వాళ్ళ డిస్ప్లేలో పెట్టారనమాట మోస్ట్లీ ఇవన్నీ హ్యాండ్మేడ్వి వాళ్ళ దేశం తాలూకా అంటే వాళ్ళు అది ఆఫ్రికాలో ఒక కంట్రీ అనమాట రువాండ అనేది ఇటువంటి మరెన్నో వీడియోస్ కోసం దుబాయ్ ఎక్స్ట్రీమ్ ఛానల్ని ప్లీజ్ లైక్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ అవర్ ఛానల్ ఇంతవరకు ఎవరైనా లైక్ కొట్టకపోతే ఈ వీడియోకి లైక్ కొట్టండి హాయ్ కెన్ యూ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ మీ ఫ్యూ వర్డ్స్ అబౌట్ రువాండ ఈవెన్ వాట్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ ఇన్ ఎక్స్పో even though it is even designed okay is designed to tell the story of oh. Rwanda okay. during the pre-colonial time okay that's why now this is we are just trying to say all come to Rwanda this is okay. where the stuff begins from okay so before this was the kind of style the Rwandan people used to live okay and see we have the traditional musical instruments okay these are the drums okay and these are also carnival okay you can as well like see from the video let me see the one which you come first up you okay. see we okay. used to breathe to be them like this then these are the traditional dances of the Ronan people okay these are called uh, the hairdresses it's okay. the one that you know yeah. you are yeah. seeing from yes, there yes, so basically this is what it looks like and the uh, Ronan people from the uh, from the start of the time they are people who used to share one carriage okay one grief okay one language as you can see from here okay they shared one language one culture one common grief okay and they were centered around the existence of the supreme god a uh, creator okay. called imana imana is a local language okay which means god okay. or the almighty okay okay and like the muslim okay that's what it means okay and this time around rwanda was under monarchy system okay meaning it was one under the king system you know okay so at that time there was nothing like in public no yeah. the monarchy yeah. style yeah so these are also uh, uh, traditional baskets okay and these uh, are handmade as well as you can see they used to keep some stuff inside okay and then from also here we're trying to show that that's a uh, as i told you the ronan people from before okay. they were characterized by unity okay and okay you no know, everything they need to do was also to to possess the thing that we call the noble heart okay the noble heart in our local language means munyamuhu which means that like i say okay. a noble heart is like to 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 be kind to everyone okay be kind to respect everyone regardless okay. of their age okay. respect everyone be kind with everyone every person yeah and that's, that's the, that was the thing okay when we come from here again uh, here we're trying to show uh, the first person the first european explorer who came to rwanda it okay. was very hard for them because like i told you from before yeah these are the people who share the same thing okay. same belief same style okay uh they are actually everything even the same language okay it was very hard for this person okay because he made the resistance okay like to go through them it was very hard and uh, as you know all know that the, the colonial masters when they came i think even you where i come from yeah. you probably might been have colonized by one country or the other yes so the style of colonization yeah very depending from the the, the the courage of that people okay so there are some people who are like not to coming to other people okay there are some cultures where you find that people were coming 
and also the varies depending from the colonial masters. There's some colonial masters who okay. are like they brought in the elect okay. You find that they are making your own people to colonize you on their behalf. Okay. Then there are other people who find that they are like in the electorate, I mean the electorate, yeah. and they are involved. Yeah. In Rwanda for them it was very hard. Because okay. like I told you, everything was centered from the king. So the Berigian Rwanda actually was colonized by the Berigian. Okay. So the Berigian people who colonized Rwanda. They brought something called uh, divide and loot. Okay. When we go there, I will tell you more about it. Okay. So this is the thing I was telling you from the, the hairdressers. Yeah. For the traditional, yeah, traditional dresses. dresses. Yes. Yeah. This, this is it. Okay. This what is, is the material it is? This is made from scissor fibers. Okay. These are um, scissor fibers. Yeah. These yeah. are the ones that are these are from. Okay. And uh, these are three yeah, yeah. rams. These all these all things like a handmade, right? These are also handmade. Okay. These are handmade. Yeah. Okay. okay. It's just cow and uh, before this one were referred to as uh, uh, a sign of wealth. Okay. You own so many cows by okay. that time in Rwanda. Okay. They're about to be as a person of wealth. Okay. And uh, this this is a sphere. This yeah. is a shoe. Yeah. Like I think we saw from the video, they used yeah. to dance with them, but again. They also have another uh, function okay. for defense. Okay. Yeah, for, because that time there was nothing like guns. Okay. Yeah. They yeah. For okay. So you remember when I told you Rwanda was colonized by the Belgians? Yeah. These are the people that colonized Rwanda. Okay. So they are the ones that brought this uh, thing called uh, the racial lines. Okay. They divided the Rwanda people. Okay. And they are the ones who removed the monarch system. And remember I told you Rwanda yeah. was that time under the king. Yeah. So they removed the monarch system. They brought to the republic in 1962. Okay. okay. But then. Because of the, the racial lines of the visionism and the things that they are implanting in the Rwandan people, okay, it led to 1994 genocide. Okay, okay. Genocide okay. was against the two cities. Okay. It started from April, okay, and from July. Okay. So and then you are trying to say one million people, okay, lost their lives. Okay, okay. So, but then there has a lot of things that has been done. To make sure that these things will never happen again. Okay. And that's the promise we make to ourselves by the new generation of Rwanda. Okay. They must never see it come divided again. Okay. So this is one of the the fundamental principles that we will go through yeah. as a Rwandan to yeah. said by our president. It's okay. His Excellency Paul Kagame. Okay. The president, the president of Rwanda. Okay. One, we say we chose to stay together. Okay. Two, we chose to be accountable to ourselves. Okay. Three, we chose to speak big. Okay. Why do we say to stay together? It is because one time Rwanda was, you know, yeah. people were divided yes, yes. and threatened to genocide. Yes. So we say to stay again together. Okay. To be accountable to ourselves, just because there is an influence sometimes where one people, all some big nations, they yes. want to, to be states yes, yes. the way other countries should be. Yes. So we are saying no, we should be accountable to ourselves. Okay. And lastly, we chose to think big. Okay. So basically, when you reach this section, okay. this is the trend to show you the dark, the dark story of Rwanda. Okay. This is what this, uh, this section is trying to portray. Okay. So every section is carrying a different story. Okay. Like here we entered from, they're telling you the cultural heritage. From this section, the back story okay. of Rwanda, because you remember I told you about the genocide? Yes. So they're trying to tell you or to show you more of the bloodshed that happened okay. in Rwanda from 1994. Okay. So when you got this end, okay. they're trying to show you now there's light coming in there. Yes, yes, yes. There's yes. light, people are having hope. Yes. Life is coming to normal, right? Yeah. yeah. So this is a picture which is trying to show you the tea plantation. But this is a long picture for, okay. that was taken for some time back. Okay. It's not a recent. Okay. And uh, Rwanda is known for coffee and tea. Yeah. But basically, when you reach here now, they're trying to show the new Rwanda. Yeah. What the Rwanda of today has achieved. Because we say Rwanda was born again in 1985. Okay. From the genocide side. Okay. So when you come this way, they're trying to show you what Rwanda looks like. It's a simple video. Yeah. They are trying to show you women empowerment. You can see women in the leadership. Okay. In fact, Rwanda is having the high number of women in leadership. Because okay. Rwanda is the fourth okay. global gender okay. equality. Okay. This is our president, Kaur Kagame. He's giving the example of construction. Things okay. off. He's there. This is the first lady. Okay. The Republic of Rwanda. Okay. This is Umuganda, which means every end of... Uh, every last week of the month, okay. people gather together to okay. do general cleanliness. Okay. In our local language, we call it Muganda. Every okay. person. Okay. Is this is the of Kigali. Okay. Some of the Kigali in the okay. Kigali now it is developed like when it seems. Yeah, when yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Kigali is known to be 
cream developed okay. and okay. safe. Okay. In fact, Rwanda is now the, the first safest country in the whole Africa. Okay. And the sixth in the okay. whole world. Okay. And then when you come to section, they're trying to tell you about the remarkable Rwanda. Okay. What now Rwanda it is today. Okay. The safe and secure, as I told you. Yeah. The fast growing economy. Fast growing, yeah. The modern and progressive. Yeah. Progressive. Open to collaboration. Yeah. And innovations. Yeah. There's a lot that is being done. Yes. Maybe if you have time, we will go to this tablet. There's different figures they tell you about what wonder it is in terms of doing business. Okay. Was recently in 2020, the World Bank. Okay. Right? So wonder to be the second. Okay. In okay. ease of doing business. The second in whole Africa. Okay. Okay. Africa, okay. 54 countries. Okay. The second. Okay. In ease of doing business. Okay. Whereby, like, a person who wants to register business, to do business, for instance, like, registering a business. Okay. And be given the documents to start a business. Okay. It only takes you six hours. Oh, okay. You're having the documents with you. Okay. Oh, what is what is the population, Rwanda? Currently, the population of Rwanda is 13 million. One, okay. three million. Okay. This is our national car air carrier. It's okay. called the Rwanda Air. Okay. Yes. Your airline uh, name is Rwanda Air. Rwanda right? Air, yeah, yes. Rwanda okay. Air. And uh, when you go to this section now, okay. here now talks about the tourism. Okay, no. tourism. Okay. The tourism, come closer. This section, we are the front for me. Rwanda is a mixture. Okay. They speak French, okay. they speak English. Okay. So this section is for the French people. Okay. Sometimes if you come here when you're a French speaker, there is okay. an assignment you do. Okay. Whereby you stand at a QR code, yeah. they yeah. give you a word to say. Okay. You go on the microphone, you say it. Okay. And then on the 20th of March, okay. there is an international day, international day of Francophonie. Okay. Francophonie is a big nation, a big uh, organization, my friend. Okay. Whereby 300 million people okay. come together. I mean, they use French. Okay. I know French is spoken by different countries. Okay. So, and uh, the Secretary General okay. is led by Rwandan Lady. Okay. But you, you said even uh, 1994, before 1994, it was like uh, when uh, kings uh, uh, under kingdom, right? Yeah, when, yeah. Starting After from 1962, going yeah. down, yeah. Rwanda was under monarch system. Okay. Kingship. Okay. But then from 1992 no. and above, okay. actually the king was removed in 1993. Okay. That's when they, they were the king. Okay. Now they wrote the public. Okay. So now they are showing you different features of Rwanda yeah. in terms of tourism. Okay. Because 48% of the London GDP okay. comes from tourism. Okay. This is a the national, the national park, the home of Moroccan gorillas. Okay. And, um, these are the major projects. Like this is called the, the Volcano National Experiential Center. Okay. It talks about the conservation of the mountain gorillas. Ah, okay. So there is a lot here, and uh, if you get chance of reading from there, they will okay. show you the Rwanda's Vision 2050. Okay. There is Rwanda Vision 2050. That side you can read it from there. Okay. What the country tries to achieve, what the country wants to go through, okay. and what they are aiming to have okay. as a country. Okay. In all sectors. That years, how we believe everything is yes, like it is yes. planned. It is written there. Vision 2050. Yeah. It there? yeah. Yes. So there, they are written. It is very written. Okay. What the country will have achieved, what we have got through. Okay. And you are telling people that uh, visas are always on our arrival. Okay. The airport, they give you the visa. Okay. So this is what people can enjoy. They can enjoy. What is the currency? Is that? Plants. Plants. Yes, plants. Okay. See? So this is what they can enjoy. I mean, those people are coming just for the leisure of time. Yeah. For tourism. This is what they can enjoy. Okay. So there is a lot here. They can see. They can see the rivers. They can see. Rivers. They can see the lake, okay. they can see the safari. There is a lot of people can see from here. Thank you, brother. Thank right, you very so much. This is what I can tell you about Rwanda. Yeah. Then the rest are the products people are buying from there. Okay. In short, this is Rwanda. Okay. If you go behind, you okay. see actually one of the major cities that Rwanda is coming up with because okay. uh, there is a kind of uh, construction style. Okay. The country is trying to put in place. Okay. <laughs> Is it Rwanda next plan? Yes, continue.
వాళ్ళ నెక్స్ట్ థర్టీ ఇయర్స్లో ఎట్లా ఉండబోతుందనేది వాళ్ళు చెప్తున్నారు అనమాట నైన్టీన్ నైంటీ ఫోర్ ముందు ఏమో థింగ్ ఉండేవాడు అంతా ఇప్పుడు ఏంచామో నైన్టీన్ నైంటీ ఫోర్ తర్వాత ఏంచామో అది రిపబ్లిక్ కంట్రీగా అది అవతరించిందంట వాళ్ళ తాలూకా హిస్టరీ వాళ్ళ తాలూకా ఫ్యూచర్ వ్యూస్ అన్నీ కూడా వాళ్ళు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేస్తున్నారు అనమాట It, it basically to get one place and everything is within that place so you can try to see like this place okay. this is like one like one example it's because these are the major construction pieces that are taking now place in Rwanda where you find that there is uh, everything in one place be it education be markets be apartments be everything they want everything to be close to you so you can now see like they're trying to show you uh, like uh education uh, uh universities to one place uh, hospitals everything so this is just a video of what it looks like okay will the project is a prestigious project and you are saying that we will in the next 2050 50 ki ye vidhanga we will plan cheskuntaru ye vidhanga untundi ani cheptunaru anni kuda vedaki round date lo plan cheskuntaru